I wanted to show you my new 19-in-1 soldering kit made by Yom. First of all, as you can see, it comes in this nice leather uh, carry case. It has a zip around to keep it all closed and together. If we open it up here, you see all these elastic straps that hold all of the tools and supplies in place. Uh, it comes with a little card to keep in there, uh, reminding you uh, that it has a forever uh, protection on it and information on the back for it as well. Comes with a little instruction card for the soldering iron and also an operator's manual for the digital multimeter. So the main feature of this case is the adjustable soldering iron and it has an on off switch on it. Um, the temperature ranges from 392 to 842 Fahrenheit or 200 to 450 Celsius. Uh, this light comes on when it's plugged in, has this on off switch has a nice rubber handle or silicone handle, I'm not quite sure what that is exactly, but it uh, is nice and comfortable and it's a little bit textured to make it easy to hold. It comes with six tips, which you just unscrew this sleeve here, slide off the tip, put the one on it that you would like to be using. And those tips are right here in this plastic bag here. Um, I wasn't sure what this one was for, and I'm told it's uh, kind of like a knife for cutting wires or, you know, maybe if you're working on some art project or something, you need to cut through, I don't know, plastic. Is that safe to be cutting? I'm not sure. Anyways, different size tips for the many projects you might be doing with jewelry or electronics or appliances or other home repair uh, type stuff. It also comes with this stand for putting the soldering iron on. Uh, there's a couple nuts here. You screw one nut up on here, place it in here, screw the other nut on. It uh, holds it up just like this. And then there's this sponge. You put some water on, it expands right here. That's to help clean the tip. Some other things with soldering, uh, the so desoldering vacuum pump. So you just click this down, and when you're soldering or trying to undo a joint, you put this like this. Once the solder melts, hit it, and it will suck that solder out of your way. Uh, the multimeter, digital multimeter, there was a battery right here. I've already opened it up, put the battery in. It has this nice flip out stand. Um, I don't really know how to use one of these very much. The one feature on these that I use the most is what I call continuity, which is right here. And if I pull the the leads or the pens as they're sometimes called pop the covers off of them that's nice I haven't had ones with tip covers before plug this in if I'm working on my radio antenna and I want to make sure the connections that I've just soldered are good what I would do is I'd stick one lead at one end of the wire one lead at the other end if there's continuity then I get a beep. Also with this, it has a light. That light will stay on for about five seconds or so and then fade out. This kit also comes with some extra wire, comes with a screwdriver that has eight tips in the top of it. The nice thing about this is it has a magnet in it so it just holds the tip which also means when your screw comes out, you can use the tip to pull that tiny little screw, get it into your hands. 
comes with some wire, extra wire if you need that for a project, some tweezers, some solder. One thing I didn't know about these uh, in the past, there's been a hole. I figure that's just an easy way of keeping it wound together and pulling out what you need. Um, but it actually says that you should pull the wire through this hole and use the container to when you're soldering and then you have the wire coming out. And this is a lot easier to use or hold than that bare wire is. There's also some wire cutters, strippers here as well. Um, I think that pretty much covers uh, all 19 pieces of it. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I got this kit for a couple reasons. One, everything I need for the most part is together so I don't have to pick through a toolbox or other things to find all my supplies. I just have it in one kit. Uh, the other reason I got this was because I have this clunky, heavy, hot soldering gun which melts PCB boards and other things uh, a lot faster. This allows me to pinpoint exactly where I want to go and adjust my temperature and uh, is a lot more lightweight and easy to use. Um, I hope that this video review, uh, I hope you find it helpful. I give it a five star review. There's, there's nothing I think that is missing from this kit. I hope you enjoy it.